We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Kansas City Royals and the Cleveland Indians. With Merrifield next to bat, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So coming to the plate, Adalberto Mondesi, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Nick one's under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Digging in, Hunter Dozier. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Dozier. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Naquin's on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Settling in now, Francisco Lindor. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Two and one now to the tribe's leadoff man. Two balls, one strike. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. Borderline pitch right there, but as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Into the box, Jose Ramirez. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2-2. Base hit, and that's their first of the new campaign. At the plate now, Roberto Perez hit in the air to right field. After it is Soler. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And that'll bring in one of the best on base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. At the plate, Cesar Hernandez. Fouled off. Keller has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. In this day and age of smaller ballparks, the ball's lively, the bats are harder. This guy does a great job of keeping the ball in the ballpark. And one of the keys, he's not predictable. He'll throw his off speed pitches behind an account. He's really difficult to sit on just one pitch. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. A bouncer up the middle. Mondesi brings it in. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jorge Soler. They'll get us started in the top of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the veteran left-handed hitting outfielder, Alex Gordon. And it's fouled away. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. 
lifted the other way down the left field line. And they can't run it down. Fouled away. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Coming to the plate now, Ryan O'Hearn. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Good job to lay off that one two breaking ball, put himself right back in this at bat. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving in. And that's out number one. So the base is empty here with one away. And up to bat next, Delino DeShield. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Bases are empty, one man out. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring Domingo Santana into the batter's box next. Count remains full. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. Batting the designated hitter. Into the box now, Jordan Luplo. This one's down to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Now at the plate, Cam Gallagher, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. The one two. Gets him looking up around the letters. So striding forward now, Bubba Starling. One out, nobody on. Bubba Starling. Misses, ball two. And this is strike three called. Make it five straight punch outs. Two away now. Got it done. Now at the plate, Michael Franco. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Fastball well outside. Three and two to the Royals' designated hitter. Whit Merrifield would be next. And he fouls this one off. The next three, two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the now inning. Third base Digging in to Austin try it again, Jose Ramirez. Rob he singled Ramirez. and scored in his first appearance in this one. Eight. Fastball called strike, Count one and one two. Eight. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Pops this one up. Mondesi waits on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Riding in once again, Roberto Perez. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. With Merrifield next to hit. 
He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. Though. That gets down, and the Royals' first hit of the game is going to be for extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now that the Alberto. In now, Adalberto Mondesi hit down the third baseline. The 2 2 pitch. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Flares this one over toward first, but no problem at first, and that's the first out. In now, Hunter Dozier. He flew now out in his last at bat. The 1 1 home. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Merrifield leads off second with one gun in the inning. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Man at second here with two away. And that'll bring up Jorge Soler to hit next. A ball and two strikes. Two Offered strikes. at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit sharply toward the right side. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. The left field of the four, Alex Gordon. So now to the plate, Alex Eight. Gordon. A ball and two strikes to Alex Gordon. Fouled off. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Stepping up to the plate, Carlos Santana. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. That last at bat, that showed me something. It's not that easy to hit a changeup over 400 plus feet out of the ballpark. So this guy gets some good extension, strong wrist, and this guy's got some terrific back. bat speed. Baseman. Stepping into the box, Cesar oh, Hernandez. Yeah. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. Lays off the changeup, and he's ahead in the count now, three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three-ball count. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. So a runner at first with one man gone. And into bat next, it'll be Tyler Naquin. The 1-1 pitch. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. The one two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gordon is there. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. So a runner at first with two away. And up to bat next Delino De Shields. Delino. Here's the one and one pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Now in the box, Ryan O'Hearn comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball. 
one and two the count now. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. Up next to the board. Now at the plate, Cam the Gallagher. Captain. He'll look to bounce and back after Gallagher. striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. And that's the, the second Tennessee, out. Number 11, Bubba Darling. The 1-1. One, one. Taken, strike two. Fifth inning, two to one our score. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Domingo Santana. Half swing there on a pitch out of the zone indeed. It's strike two. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Now another one two. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order? Uh, one sack as that ball is into the gap in right center. Should be good for at least two bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Now back, the designated hitter, Jordan. Whoa. Into the box, Jordan Luplo. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Ready for another shot now. Francisco Lindor. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Maddie, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop. Defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. Into the box now, Jose Ramirez. He singled and later scored back in the first, making him one for two so far. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016, just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup, and Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two-out walk with the runner still at third. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Ball three. Three and two now. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Hit on the ground toward the left. On to first, and the driver held in check as the inning is over. New inning set to get underway, and digging in is the veteran DH, Michael Franco. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his windup. I don't know if it's just flat stuff. But he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone, and he's having a big game. So it was a strikeout swinging. Michael Franco becomes the first out of the inning. 
Merrifield behind a ball and two strikes. Right side. Santana's got it. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now that Digging in the switch hitter, Adalberto Mondesi. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. The 1 1. Chopper to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now that third Hunter Dozier. Stepping in now, Hunter Dozier. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2 and 1 now. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. And again a throw, and he'll dive back in safely. Another throw over. He's going, he's going. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is high. The throw, not in time as the offline throw allows him to get in there easily. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. Josh DeMont enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 53. Josh. So now Carlos Santana. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Ready once again. Cesar Hernandez. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Oh now here's a drive out to the alley. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now that the right field. Tyler Naquin. Standing in now, Tyler Naquin. A bullet to first base. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Coming to the plate now, Delino De Shields. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch rolled slowly down the first baseline. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. In is Jorge Soler. 1 for 2 on his line so far in the game. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's veal is still top notch. This guy's a horse. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Jorge Soler goes down for the first out in the seventh inning. Changeup. Good pitch there. One and two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Now batter. Now to the plate, Ryan O'Hearn. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Santana is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring Domingo Santana into the batter's box next. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Whoa, that pitch is out. And ooh, that strike zone's getting a little inconsistent now. It's two and two. 
Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. Last thing you want to do is to fall behind and count 3-2. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Into the corner and slicing foul. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. Full count, three and two to the Indians' DH. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Lifted down the line and left, but this will land untouched. The next three, two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Starling going back on it. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now with the plate, Francisco Lindor. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Gordon going back. Gone! Blake now, Jose Ramirez. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Starling is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Nick Whitgren has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 62, Nick. All set for the start of the inning, and now it'll be the catcher, Cam Gallagher. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. A ball and two strikes to the Royals catcher. The 1-2. Nope, I'm sorry, ball two. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. One one is taken for strike two. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score able to protect the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one and another foul ball and he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two Three and two, a full count to the Royal center fielder. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Nicky Lopez, come on now and pinch run here. Next will be the designated hitter, Michael Franco. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1-1. One, one. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. To two and two now. Well, the Royals have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. Full count now. The three-two pitch. None out, runners at first and second. And he struck out again. That's the third time. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and Whit Merrifield will dig in at the plate. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. 
Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, and the batter didn't even flinch. On just a sec as this ball is driven into the outfield. This should score one, maybe two. Adam Simber is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. In now, Adalberto Mondesi. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 4-3 to three game. Now back. Into the box now, Hunter Dozier. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Simber was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Now another 2-2. Two, two. Three and two now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad he's pitch, going, going, it's ball four. There he goes. Here's a drive out toward left center field. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. The right field, number 12, Jorge Soler. So now to the plate, Jorge Soler. The short hit hard. And there's out number two. So a runner at second, two down now, and that'll bring up the veteran left-handed hitting outfielder, Alex Gordon. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. And Gordon nope. looks at ball four. Digging in, Ryan O'Hearn. He's hitless in Number three at-bats to this point. A one one. Misses ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. And it's gone. Hunter Wood is out from the bullpen as he'll get his first work of the season here on opening night. Number 44, Hunter Wood. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. On the ground for Hernandez at second base. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. The center field, number 11, Bubba. Stepping in now, Bubba Starling pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Striding in for the Indians, Roberto Perez. Takes this the other way to right, and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Now back, the first base runner. At the plate now, Carlos Santana. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. Pulled toward right center field. Starling going back on it. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Trying to pick things up where we left yeah, off. Cesar Hernandez. He doubled his last time through. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get 
maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. So here's Tyler Naquin. The right fielder, number 30. Three Tyler. runs, seven hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Hot shot down the line. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. Line toward right center. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Scott Barlow is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Standing in now, Delino De Shields. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. Perez rounds the corner and is headed home. Safe at the plate. And the deficit is cut to four now. Now that no left fielder. No big go. Into the box, Domingo Santana. Well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. set to start the ninth in this one and standing in is the DH Michael Franco and he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now popped up Santana is under it makes the play one away So the Royals batting order turns over and set to go Whit Merrifield two hits in four attempts to this point the one and two pitch tried to hold up there appeal down to first and no swing it's ball two here now the two two gets him looking strike three digging in and looking for more Adalberto Mondesi on the night he's two for four with a pair of singles. Monday. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Oh, and that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The 2-2 two, two, one more time. Lifted down the line in left. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Up next to the void. The third baseman. Hunter. At the plate now, Hunter Dozier. Two and one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Jorge Soler would be next. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. Throw into second. To second now, but he's safe. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Jorge Soler. In now, Jorge Soler. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Jordan Luplo. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Count even at two and two. The pitch. The swing and a ground ball to third. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Now batting. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. 
Starling is there and quickly two are gone here and it's not looking good for the home nine. Now batting Jose Ramirez and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Last strike now for Cleveland. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Starling going back on it. Makes the catch and that's the ball game. Yeah this game was decided in the eighth. That was a huge offensive fireworks coming into the eighth inning. And when the other guys put up a big inning like that against you late in the game, it's really tough to make any kind of a comeback. And this ball game ends at a 9-4 final score. Kansas City came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Josh DeMont claims the win out of the pen his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.